better. I'm just sad and disappointed. Do you want to talk about it? Maybe. Well, let's tell them about it. Power peeps and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I am your host Sean Donnelly. I'm your co-host Mary Ann Donnelly. We are going to tell you about a train station. Not that train station. We already told you about that one. Actually, I'll put a link above, below, and all the other stuff. That's the BNO uh, train station in Youngstown. What we're going to talk about is the train station in Gettysburg. Marion's a little upset, so let me get this through, and then I'm going to let her vent. So she, you know, I got to take her back home. And uh, okay, so. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, we're going to talk about our experiences that we just recently had when we were in Gettysburg at the location. We're not going to go over the history and things like that. We talked about it before when we did the video about uh, Abraham Lincoln going through Gettysburg. We're going to talk about it again when we covered the haunted locations about Gettysburg and our favorite. So we'll cover some of that stuff in those videos. And when they're done, I'll come back and put links and all that other fun stuff. But the point of this one... <laughs> is we have to get this documented um, about our most recent experience at the train station. Marianne's a little bit upset about it, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let her talk about it. And at the end, we got a little treat for you uh, before the, the video closes out. So keep watching. All right, you ready? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so. You can get a little closer. <laughs> Go ahead. The train station uh, recently had a renovation where they converted it into a new experience type of facility rather than just a historical building. So now it houses a uh, VR experience that they Which have. Which I thought was kind of cool. That they called Ticket to the Past, I think is yeah. the name of it. Um, you really didn't like the, the experience? It was okay. Let's, let's say it wasn't in that building, but if it was something else. It was kind of cool. I thought you put the goggles okay. on and you could do a 360 thing and see how it looked like. You enjoyed it a lot more than I did. I don't know if it's just I had my a hopes different up. different actor maybe? Hoped, yeah, a different character. Maybe I had it hyped up more in my mind based on like what I had read, read about it. Okay. Or whether it was the character that I chose. But I don't want you to get across that, that we're knocking it. Go, please go there and Yeah, he really and enjoyed it. Because it really was actually kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. I'll shut up. But what I, which that's fine, <laughs> but okay. what I didn't like was that it's they okay. basically gutted the inside of the building and painted everything white. Yeah, I agree with you. They, so they, they removed all the artifacts yeah. that were there um, and literally it looks like just a modern building now on the inside. Um, the When you walk in, it's set up like a museum, uh, but it's like painted, I think it's gray now on that and it has like the information about the characters you're going to pick that kind of stuff is it a gray or black um and then you go into the vr room which is completely white and you just sit at a little table and put the vr things on which that's what a vr experience is i get that uh, and then you go into another room that they've kind of ordered off and the entire inside of that room is painted white including the windows the doors the the uh, Wayne's coating like everything the whole room is painted white so they have taken out all of the artifacts that were there like the um, train station benches that had the logo cut out in them and don't um, forget my favorite yes your favorite they had a model that they had there of the train station when it was in its heyday in use like what it was like um, they had old pieces of rail and things like that and all of those artifacts are gone Turn, baby, on the summer night A shot of love and a spark of love to be Starts to light and the month I'm not burned like a ground out of leaves I will leave it on the next train, baby I do believe Come on Let's ride this train Come on I don't hear it in my song I'm gonna pull my weight, don't get me wrong 
Brand new start and a whole new part. They are big old shoes to fill. I'll be there on that platform, babe. No, I will. Come on. I, I, that just saddened me. And I don't know if it's that that made me not enjoy the experience as much, like knowing that all that stuff was just not there, it wasn't around. Where we or, did get to see it in 2018 yep, and 15 and, and 13, 13, which I've been showing you probably yeah. some pictures as we go through here. Yeah. Um, but So that saddened me. And then you kind of like wanted to find out what happened to this stuff so go ahead yeah. and tell them so about i that. asked the docent who was working there that day when we were there i said you know hey what happened to all the artifacts and um the docent said that they didn't know um so when we got back home i said you know what i'm gonna check with my contacts so i contacted my national park service um contact that i have for gettysburg um and my adams county historical society uh in gettysburg's contact and i contacted them looking to see if maybe they had donated the items to them um, so the Adams County Historical Society said unfortunately no they didn't uh, the Park Service said no they didn't have uh, any of the materials they didn't know what happened to it um, and that they had nothing to do with the restoration uh, they hadn't even seen what the restoration and the VR experience looks like now so the Park Service then suggested that I contact the Gettysburg Foundation who was actually in charge of the VR experience and they were in charge of like the restoration turning it into the experience. So I contacted them while well, I tried to contact them through their, their website um, to just send them a message to ask them and it kept on sending me a thing back when I would hit submit that it couldn't save the data. So Technology. I called them. So I called them and the person that I talked to said that they didn't know. So they contacted their supervisor while I was on the phone with them. Uh, their supervisor got back to them and said that they didn't know what happened to any of the items either. Um, so the person that I was talking to got my information and said that they would get back to me. They would do some more research. I thought that would be the end of it. I thought I'd never hear from him again, but she did call me back like three hours later. Which she is had cool. looked into it and I thought that was amazing. So I thank her for that if she's watching. Um, but she, when she contacted me back, she said that um, the person who oversaw the restoration, who I won't name, um, says that it is in storage and that maybe someday it might go on a rotating display somewhere. Um, but that's all a maybe. Adams County Historical Society is building a new building. I know it would be it a great like place. It looks like they're going to have a lot of room. It would be a great place. But anyway, so that's theoretically where they are, safe in storage. Okay. Do you feel better getting it out on camera, getting it documented, or did I stir up nah. more? No, I just wish it was still there. I do. They too. Could, I they agree with you. You know, the building when we saw it before, and you guys it. probably seen pictures. I mean. You know, Abraham Lincoln walked through there. Uh, all the families came through uh, that train station to either pick up their fallen loved ones or to pick up their belongings as they came through the train uh, as they came through the station to go to the Soldiers National Cemetery to pay their respects. All those people who came to the dedication came through that train station, and now it's like it's not like a train station. Anymore. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feeling yeah. like when you walked into the it outside before. is. 
but the inside you could feel the history i think i mentioned to you because you were like going yeah. off about it it's like if they would like did something with the thing outside or added onto it or something like that but left that front part the old train station yeah would have been yeah cooler but they did what they did yeah, yeah it yeah. is what it is yeah. so Okay, so we did promise you something cool. This is this is a first for us. Like I said, we were there 2013, 2015, 2018, and just recently, and this never happened before. We were outside the train station getting some B-roll, and guess what happened? A train came by. A train came by, so watch this. was pretty cool that cost a lot of money i planned that of course you did <laughs> yeah that's just for our videos we paid them the train to come by i hope you enjoyed it all right i thought that was like really cool <laughs> it's not a period train oh that would be neat that would be really that would cool. be really that neat a re really cool. re reenactment of a train coming by oh that would be cool but anyways anything else no okay all right, folks, till next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. So as we were filming, I was trying to keep an eye on these Canadian geese. But they look like they're uh, eating. So they left us alone. Okay, I guess we'll leave them. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, Support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. <laughs>